My name is Brian Hathaway. One of my favorite pastimes is watching the circus that is cable news. Besides the pundits, I am especially entertained by the people they interview. A lot of the opinions I hear are unbelievably over the top. I'm not saying them smarter than anyone else or that my opinions are more valid. I just wonder how informed these people are on the way the government actually works. So I've rounded up some gear and enlisted a couple of friends to go out to talk to the man in the street. I have written three opinion questions as well as three civics questions. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Do you have a political affiliation one way or the other? Am I a Republican or a Democrat? I'm a Republican. Okay. It's not a crime yet. No. No? Give it time. It's kind of a dirty word, I guess, but I, I guess I would have to go with Democrat. I'm registered independent. Mostly a Green Party. <laughs> independent. Republican. And Democrat. My parents watch uh, the Fox News, so they just always have that on. I actually listen to NPR radio all the time. Online, NPR. Internet and uh, Fox. I usually watch MSNBC. Never watch Fox. Facebook notifications. I like to read the, the New Times, the uh, Rolling Stone, the uh, uh, shit of uh, Triple Crown Surfing. What is your opinion on evolution versus creationism? Mm, I like evolution better, a little bit better. I think it's a little bit of both. So I think that there was like a creator, but then also that things evolved because it's just like part of how like nature works. We're moving at a really slow rate for how advanced humans are. Um, I guess I believe in evolution, sure, but in the last 2,000 years that we've recorded history, I haven't really seen it idea that, uh, that God created us, but at the same point, there's all this evidence that we evolved. So why can't it be that, you know, it's an allegory that he started? Maybe he is the Big Bang. I personally don't believe in that. Um, for one, I just uh, have just a religion, you know, that I feel that we have a creator. God created us. There's no telling how he did it, though. I'm sorry. I'm kind of like between religion and science right now. I believe that God created evolution. I was raised really religious, so obviously I was raised being taught about creationism. So it was cool. Creationism, yeah. As opposed to evolutionism, but I'm not educated enough to have a strong opinion on either. There is so much scientific evidence that it's just being silly to, to, to refuse uh, that idea. A lot of my friends are uh, gay and uh, homosexual. My sister is gay, and you know, it's it's love. I don't agree with it. I think that uh, you know, if you take the biblical aspect, man was not designed to lay down with man as woman. I think everyone has the right to love whoever the hell they want to. You got to do what you want to do. If that's your life, that's fine. I don't care. I'm actually gay, so I'm. As a Christian, I can't really support gay marriage, but I'm not in the streets, you know, saying they can't get married. Being gay, I would like to marry my partner in 28 years, but I can't. It's a little bit of an awkward, weird thing for a straight person to see that, but there's still no problem with it just because it creeps you out. I was raised with the belief that, no way, uh-uh, it is not okay, something's wrong with you, you need help. But as I've drifted away from those beliefs, I'm not really religious anymore. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Global warming? I believe that the Earth goes in cycles, and it's a natural thing. People talk about global warming, but actually temperatures have gone down 
in most regions of the world over the past 10 years. Regardless of if people think it's like human-made or like man-made or if it's like a natural thing, that it's like a problem. We're going to end up destroying the planet some other way than by warming it up. Worst case scenario, we warm it all up, it floods, and we all move in. The world cha is changing. The rotation of the Earth around the sun, the way the sun deteriorates slowly. I'm no scientist, but anyway, I think global warming is just a forest. I think it's definitely a, it's kind of a natural cycle. It's pretty high now. I mean, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's just something that we need to look at and stop fearing the idea of and, and just, you know, take a serious look at it, what, what's going on and if we need to counteract it or, or what's, what's really happening. Look at the facts and the, stop the fear monger. Name the president, the vice president, Barack Hussein Obama, and Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the VP. Barack Obama is the president. President Obama, the vice president, had no idea. President Barack Obama, vice. No. President is uh, Obama. Vice president is Joe Biden. Do you name the president the vice president? Uh, president is Obama. Vice president. Yes. Dick Cheney. The three branches, oh God. You got the uh, judicial department. Um, oh my God! I know the judicial department. Um, Congress, Senate. Republican, Democratic, Green Party. There are the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. Three branches. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, judicial, executive, and that was this last year. Legislative. Executive. I'm a Google person, yeah. so if I want to know the exact names, I'll just Google it and get it in 10 seconds. You know, why do I have to memorize that useless information when I could be reading a comic book? You know? Do you know how many senators and representatives there are in Congress? No, not at all. <laughs> Mark that one off. <laughs> no. Oh. Almost like 32. Do you know how many senators and representatives there are in Congress? 435 representatives and 100 senators. So what have we learned? 64% of the people I interviewed failed the civics test, yet everyone had an opinion. You don't want to be in the middle of a conversation and have someone stump you with naming the president and the vice president. So what's the solution? Read the paper, watch the news, listen to the radio. Just don't be part of the circus, be informed.